pulse of current in the other corner. And when he disconnected the battery, he saw a pulse of current in the other direction. He realized that current was induced in the second coil only when the magnetic field through it was changing. And if they hadn't been wrapped on the same ring, Faraday may have noticed that the two coils repel each other when the current is induced, and that's due to the interaction of their magnetic fields. Which brings us back to this. Through the bottom coil, we are passing a huge electric current, 800 amps, which alternates in direction 900 times per second. This ensures there will always be a changing magnetic field above the coil. Instead of the second coil, we're using the aluminum plate, but the principle is the same. The changing magnetic field induces currents in the plate that create an opposing magnetic field, so it levitates.